tell you, I cannot tell you what an honour it is to be. I know that you don't do a lot of talk shows. I know that historically this is something that you love doing. So I cannot thank you enough for finding the time <laughs> to be here with us tonight. Oh, Truly. I'm, I'm you know, I'm a fan. I, I loved, I mentioned backstage, I love what you did with Harry Styles, the one-minute concert at the street. Out lights. in the streets. And I loved what you did with Chris uh, Hemsworth when you were in the restaurant. Oh, look at you. Oh, that was fantastic. He's pulling out some deep cuts. Yeah, yeah. I love it. <laughs> so funny. Oh, you are yeah. so, uh, that means a great deal. And I'm thrilled to be on the show with a fellow actor. That's great. Oh. Yeah. So. Well, I'm, I'm, I mean, I mean this, is, you, this is true. Aaron, I know that you are incredibly pumped to be here with Nicholas Cage. Well, tell me yeah. why. What, what does his work mean to you? I mean, he's just a legend. Oh. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, someone was asking me what, you know, I, I saw someone asked me about stage, but I saw you talking about what is your favorite Nicolas Cage movie. It's, it's like saying, who's your favorite child? Oh. You know, it's, it's true. It's true. You actually, know, very, actually, very easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> You're just. That's so oh, incredible. Thanks, yeah, and thank Pig you. is, and yes, 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 it's a masterpiece. Yeah, it's a masterpiece. Yeah. It really, really is. Thank you. And then we're talking about children and favorite childs. We should congratulate you. Uh, Aaron, you and your wife, you just had your second child, a yeah. baby boy. Oh. Baby boy. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me now, on a scale of one to utterly exhausted, where are we? Where are we at? More than exhausted. Really? Yeah, no, it's, it's impossible. My, my baby, he's sleeping, but. He just, he, he grunts at night, so right. it's like loud noises, <laughs> and we're told by a doctor, oh, it's like digestion, he's just having trouble passing, passing gas, mm. and so we're Googling, like, what's the best thing to do, and we found this thing called the Wendy. Do you know what that is? No. So we order the Wendy, and it's literally a probe that's a hollowed out that you stick in your baby's butt. <laughs> Which is so weird, but we had to try it what, out. Have you tried burping? <laughs> <laughs> we tried burping. We, yeah, but it, we did it in the middle of the night, and then it worked. And it, you know when it works when it whistles, and then a lot of... And then it just became explosive, and you know what happens next. Wow. I recommend a rocking chair, <laughs> sing Three Blind Mice, and then just have yeah, the back, just and keep then the yeah. burp comes yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. yeah, I would that's... love to watch Nicolas Cage singing Three Blind Mice while burping a child. <laughs> it would be an extraordinary thing to see. It, it happened in uh, Somerset. I, I was with my youngest son, Kalal, when he was still a child. And I was yeah. talking to him, go, Three Blind Mice. Yeah. <laughs> three Blind Mice. See how they run. See how they run. They all ran after the farmer's wife who cut off their tails with a kitchen knife. <laughs> Do, you're going to get to do this again soon because you're, you're expecting your first baby That's together right. with, with your wife now. You have two older sons. Right. How excited are you to have a baby in the house I'm, again? I'm, I am thrilled. I miss it. I miss going to the toy store. As you know, I miss singing lullabies. Mm. I miss the way they discover something for the yeah. first time. I can't wait for you to take your baby out to have lobster. And they yeah, look, what yeah. is daddy eating? <laughs> that is a bug. That is an insect. It's crazy, yeah. you know? And, they, and I like the way they look at the sunlight go through a leaf, and they're discovering th these things like rain and a snowflake. And it just brings it all back for yeah. us, you know? Yeah. It's all so magical. Well, look, you, you both actually have a lot in common, both of you. Um, you both worked in movie theaters in yeah. your time. Yeah. Uh, Nick, you sold popcorn in a theater that is pretty much basically right across the street. Yes. from here. Yes. Was that a good job for a young Nicolas Cage? Uh, yes and no. It was good because after I sold the uh, tickets and the popcorn, I could sneak into the cinema and I could... They were playing some Blake Edwards movie and I would just watch and I'd try to meditate, like, how am I going to go from here to the screen? That was the mantra. That was the meditation. Yeah. And no, because every now and then you'd get that guy in the audience who would be with his girlfriend making out, smoking a cigarette, and the manager would say, you gotta tell him to put his cigarette out. And I say, sir, you have to put your cigarette out, and he would blow smoke in my face, and right. I would quit. You know, and yeah, right. my dad would say, you go back and get your job, and I would come back. Did you have any of those experiences? Um, mine was a little different. I, I tore tickets uh, at the Universal City Walk movie theater. This was right when I moved to LA, and um, we would throw premieres there all the time. That's fun. And I would clean up the theater after the premiere was done, and a lot of people would just forget their party passes. Ah. Oh. You know, I'm a, you oh. know, I'm a, you know, 18-year-old kid. Yeah. Now invited to a really nice 
premier party because I have the passes. Mm. I would then put quarters in the payphone and call my friends or I dress up. I got three tickets. And then we would just go dance around. Oh, that's exceptional. Yeah. I mean, that great. is, yeah, what a great touch. Look, if we're talking about hit movies in yeah. movie theaters, we've got to congratulate you, Nick, on your incredible film, The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Oh, I cannot tell you. Thank you. I was in on uh, this film at the trailer. Oh, my God. When the trailer came out, I was in on this film, yeah. and I have to say, it doubled my... Anything yeah. I expected from it, it went further. It is an a, a absolutely brilliant film, oh. rightly getting praised all over. Thank you. In the film, you, ex you play a heightened version of yourself. For anyone sure. who doesn't know, yeah. tell us what it's about <laughs> and how you came to be part oh, of it. Oh, I turned it down about three or four times. Did you? I, I, yeah. I was terrified. There is no muscle in my body that told me to play a character with the name Nick Cage. Mm. I was like, what are you guys up to? What are you doing? If he was still alive, why don't you cast Gene Wilder? But it was like, you know, I... I I didn't want to do it. I thought, is this going to be like an Andy Samberg, SNL mockery? And then the director, Tom, wrote me a very nice letter, an intelligent letter, a sensitive letter. And I knew he was a genuine film enthusiast. And I thought, OK, he doesn't want to make a movie about caricatures or cartoons. No. He wants a movie about people with some absurd humor. Yeah. And so I thought, OK, let's, let's take the leap. And I did. But I was terrified the whole time. I'm still recovering from it. You know, it's like I, a I can imagine that. Act. I can yeah. imagine when you're there, because obviously most times you get to set, you go to makeup and wardrobe, and you start to become a character. And yes. But did you find that you, were, that you were still manifesting a character? He just happened to look and sound like you and have your name. I did find that, because um, this character has a daughter. And I, I don't have a daughter. I have two older boys. And he's also you know, extremely career-minded. And I've always been like, well, I don't have a career. I, I only work. I mm. just go and get a job, and I work. And that's my mantra as well. But those were the two differences. But the similarities, I think, were the sense of humor. I, it was pretty absurd, pretty off the wall. And I like to get like that at home to make my wife laugh, to make my boys laugh. So in that way, it was similar. But it, it was, it, it, you know, there were times when the director would want me to say things, and I was like, I, you know, hey, listen, there's this guy that lives in Nevada. He wears leather jackets, and he has gold rings. And he wouldn't say that. And the director would be, what, what do you mean, you? And I went, yeah, me. He goes, Nick, it's a character. Just say the line. <laughs> well, I'm so pleased you did, because I cannot recommend this film enough. It is absolutely brilliant.